couldn't tell we're doing carbon fiber today. So first section is obviously do the work. Make the, make the part or the plug very straight and very clean. I should mention before we start that there are multiple ways to do carbon fiber. There's what I'm going to be doing, especially on the quarter panels, which is hand laying carbon fiber. There is vacuum infusion. There's tons of ways to do it. And we're probably going to be experimenting with every single one of those. But first, the easiest, which is just using some paint brushes and the resin to lay it. At least for the quarter panel, I'm going to be laying over it and not creating a mold and then laying inside the mold. The reason being is it's too much, too big of a part to do it on. What I mean by a plug and a mold, so this would be called the plug. Theoretically, if you wanted to do like a vacuum bag and you wanted to make the exact same part out of carbon fiber, you would lay fiberglass over on top of this using a couple different methods, PVA, and you create a mold, which would be the opposite for this side of the object. So when you pull it off, you'll have this object on the inside. And then you would take carbon fiber, put it inside of that and create your carbon fiber part. What I'm doing is I'm just gonna be laying the carbon fiber on top of this, creating the part, pulling it off, cutting all the metal off, and then epoxying the carbon fiber on and trimming it down where I need to. Like I said, the reason being is that this you can see the quarter panel goes up and actually leads all the way down to where the uh, engine bay is. So this is too big to do a mold for. I just, I can't do it. So I'm gonna go more deep into the method of what I'm doing on each step, but I'm gonna run through the steps real fast. So first thing, you know, make the part, make the plug, then you're gonna clean it. So I, for cleaning it, oops, this is in the wrong spot. You know, wax and degrease, move it. You're gonna make sure all the contaminants are off of it. You want everything off that part. Uh, microfibers to do that, paper towels, whatever you need to do to make that part clean. After you get it clean, you're gonna go through and you're gonna use this partle paste. I got these two things in the carbon from fiberglass.com, right here, whatever. And I got the resin from West System. Uh, the reason I got them is I saw they had these little pumps. What partle paste is, is basically kind of like a wax. You're gonna do three layers of that all over your plug. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna fill in all the pinholes and it's gonna give you a nice glossy finish on it. Once you get that done and it dries, you're gonna spray it with this stuff called PVA, PVA release film. And this is actually pretty cool stuff. What this does is it creates a film layer, kinda, of, kinda of like a plastic dip, but not really, over all the waxed area. And what that does is once I get the carbon fiber laid on there, I lay the little resin and everything, and it becomes hard, obviously. It should be a very hard part at the end. It's gonna be able to pull off of the plug because it has this PVA. And this stuff's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna be spraying with the paint gun. It's water soluble. If you get it anywhere, over spray on anything, you just put some water on it and it'll, it'll wash right off. Then I'm going to go, after that dries, lay a layer of resin and let that get tacky. So you're gonna let it dry to the point where you can put your fingerprint in it, but your fingerprint, it doesn't leave anything on your finger. I'll go more deep into detail while I'm doing it. While that's drying up, actually, we're gonna cut the first layer of carbon out. After it gets tacky, you're gonna lay it on and you're gonna get some of these squeegee things and we're gonna brush it down. Brush and actually put another layer of resin onto that and push the resin into the carbon fiber without disrupting um, where it's laying. After do that, get ready for the next layer, cut the next layer, lay it, but at the very end, there should be four layers of carbon on my part. I'll be done and happy with that part. And at the very end, I'm gonna lay a whole bunch of resin on it. If you're into buying carbon fiber parts from big brands, what they'll do is they'll lay multiple layers of fiberglass in your carbon fiber part and then lay one layer of carbon on top of it. And it definitely makes it a lot cheaper to make, but you know, it's not a real carbon piece. I, I, I don't know the strengths and the weaknesses of that. I don't know how, how much of the structural integrity it loses by doing, I don't know. All I know is carbon fiber is way more expensive for a reason. So we're gonna do 100% carbon. But yeah, so let me know if this is something you guys are interested in, because this, if it turns out good, I'll be interested. If someone wants a over fender, if someone wants a door made out of carbon, I could probably give you a pretty good price on it. You know, I'm doing it all by hand. Um, yeah, just see how it turns out. And if someone wants something, I, I think I'd be happy to make something. Save you some money, make me some money, it could be a win-win. First section, that's a 50, mil, 50 inches by 10 yard roll. 
First section, I'll be doing 50 this way, 50 inches, just straight up and down. And then second, I'll be going side to side, third, and just stopping right about here. And with all the scraps, I'm gonna be doing this final part right here. So once I get all that done, three layers, the fourth layer, I'm gonna come back and do the entire thing in one piece. What it's gonna do is the final, the obviously the fourth layer is gonna be the top layer. It's gonna be the layer that you see. It's going to make a nice uniform finish. All the strands going the same way, all the weaves going the same way. And it's gonna produce a really clean part. Oh, I forgot to show you the carbon. The carbon fiber I'm using is fiberglass 1069. It is a two by two weave, it's 3K, it's a 12. So I, this is the customer favorite. So I think I'm just gonna use this. Now the partle paste is not actually toxic. You should definitely always be careful with stuff you're not, you're not familiar with. But I'm gonna wear gloves just in case. This is what the partle paste will look like. Kinda weird looking. If it will focus. Oof, nasty. Well, to be honest with you guys, I'm learning this as I go. So if you're a expert carbon fiberer and you see me doing something weird that you wouldn't do, feel free to tell me. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm learning all this stuff from Tim over at Industry Garage. His YouTube is Street Bandito. Well, he has a full carbon fiber 240Z. So yeah, if you if you are bored during quarantine and you feel like you need to go find some new stuff to watch, we'll have really nice videos, really in depth on how to do carbon fiber parts. So what you're gonna want to do with this part of face? If I can get a good handful of it, put some on the microfiber, come through, and you want to basically it's wax. So you want to wax on, give it 30 seconds, or by the time you get to the other side of the part, but you want to wax on. Give it 30 seconds to dry, then come back through and buff it off with a dry microfiber. This is also gonna let you know how well you cleaned your part. Microfiber's getting all dirty, you know that you did a bad job cleaning. I'm gonna give about 15 more seconds, and I'm gonna go the opposite way to buff it all off. Actually, I'm gonna use a new cloth for that. Funny enough, I got rubber gloves on and it's microfiber. Um, as I'm rubbing, it's making me statically charged. So like every single time I get close to this thing, it shocks me. <laughs> now I think three layers is what you want. Now I probably two should be removing this rear window just to make sure I can get real tight up in there. But I just don't have time for that. And also, I don't know if I've mentioned it already, but over here is where the rear door mounts. I'm gonna be doing carbon fiber up until that area, but I'm not gonna be cutting majority of that area out. I still want the door to be structurally sound. I want everything to be safe. Oh, and I will notice, but note this too, just so I don't get sued. Um, if, you're do, if you're doing this, your body is no longer stock strength. So if you were to get in an accident with a full carbon fiber door and you don't have a roll cage, it's probably gonna shatter on you. I plan to be putting a cage in the car, so I wouldn't I wouldn't do this if you weren't planning to, to do all that. Or do it. I don't, know, I don't care. Wow, I'm really static to charge right now, and I'm starting to kind of feel the the use of this part of paste. Like I'm starting to kind of on these little spots like right here. I know I can see a little bit of orange peel. I don't even feel it. All right, this is the final layer. While this is drying, I'll tell you guys a little story too. Another reason I decided to actually go through with making this a carbon fiber fender, on the other side, obviously, the way I connected this, the uh, way I connected this is bolted on, I, I used an adhesive on it, and then I bonded over it. This side became really strong. I don't know what I did differently on this side than the other side, but I can punch this side as hard as I want, and this fender won't crack or anything. It's, it's weird. The other side, I, I tripped, and I just put my hand on it. Actually, the first crack happened when I was pushing the car. I used to push from around here and it cracked. So, so I was like, you know what? That's a lot of weight from the Bondo, a lot of weight from all the metal. Let me just go ahead and cut this part out and replace it. So that's another reason. A lot of people told me it wouldn't hold up. 
I didn't believe him when this side held up, but when the second that side broke out, it made sense to me. I'll be doing the front fenders the same way, if this works out well. I want to feel it, man. It feels soft. Cool. Parl play is done. Next, I'm going to be doing this PVA release film. It says the way to, to properly apply it is to put it in the spray gun, do a light mist coat, and then do a heavy coat after that and then let it dry for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then it should be ready to do resin and carbon. Nervous, man. Nervous. So it doesn't look like you have to dilute it with anything. It looks like you can just spray it through the gun. So I'm gonna try. See what happens. So since I'm still a novice painter and don't know what's going on, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then I'm going to come back one more time and just do one more kind of medium to heavy coat because I had my, how much it comes out, like the, the coverage thing turned down a little bit. It should be between 0.2 and 0.4 millimeters. I don't know how to test that. So. Just broke my tripod. It smells horrible. It's probably be wearing this. So after 30 minutes, it's still drying. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is cut the carbon. Yeah. Gotta bring it up close so you can see the actual weave. Beautiful weave, man. When the PVA dries, make up some resin and get my brush and brush down the area just so I can have some resin tacking. While that resin is tacking and getting hard, I'm gonna go ahead and lay, uh, figure out what size this is. Okay, so the, right now, the PVA has gotten hard. I'm going to be using this mixing cup. And since this is my first layer, and I want to make sure this is very strong, I'm going to do kind of, not the, th a pretty thick layer, not super thick. One, two. What I'm going to do first is go ahead and get everything, because the second I put that hardener in, my time starts. So I'm going to go ahead and get my paintbrush out. You're going to get it out, and you're going to make sure you get all the hairs out of it. Cool? So I'm going to move you over here. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it evenly with the brush. And it says that one stroke of hardener equals one stroke of resin. So I went ahead and put 12 strokes of hardener in here. So what I'm starting to realize right now, halfway through, I made way too much resin. So next time, uh, um, I don't know how it's gonna be on top of the carbon, but right now I, I, can, I can tell for this first layer, I've gone a little bit overboard. Cool, so valuable lesson learned. You can always make more resin. 